Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared very easy problem for you. I hope that most of you would be able to solve this problem correctly and uh, anyway I recommend you to pause video here try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is a problem you wish to use a PCR reaction to amplify the uh, sequence that is here, this region in the middle, uh, what other two four base primers you need to do this. So we have a single strand of the DNA and as you know in the PCR reaction we need two strands of the DNA in order to amplify um, whatever sequence we need. So uh, we have to uh, build a second strand of the DNA and we are going to use um, primer in order to do this. Uh, actually we need two primers for the PCR reaction. So what our the first primer would be so here is our sequence that uh, we want to amplify and uh, even if you know genetics well probably the first uh, your uh, impression would be to use flanking regions that is here so this is one flanking region and this is another flanking region as we told uh, we have to use uh, four base primers and uh, let's try to solve this problem this way first and then I will show you how actually we have to do it. In order to solve this problem you have to know that um, DNA strand uh, grows from 5 prime end to 3 prime end direction. And also you have to know of course that uh, adenine base pairs with thymine and guanine with cytosine. So let's uh, build our first primer and because uh, DNA strands are reverse parallel uh, we would have here 5 prime end and 3 prime end here because on this strand we have 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here. So our first um, primer would be thymine, thymine, guanine, guanine. So uh, the growth of new DNA strand would be in this direction. And let's build the rest of the new DNA strand that is complementary to the top strand. So cytosine, 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 and cytosine here. And uh, our new DNA strand would proceed to grow to the end uh, of this strand. So next we would have uh, thymine, cytosine, guanine, adenine, adenine, cytosine and thymine here. So as you see the first uh, PCR reaction we only need one primer and we would make a complementary strand of the DNA. For the second uh, cycle of this uh, PCR reaction we would need uh, also another uh, primer and uh, this is going to be thymine, cytosine, guanine and adenine. Uh, here we would have 5 prime end and here we would have 3 prime end. Once again DNA, new DNA strand grows from 5 prime end to 3 prime end direction. So 3 prime end would be here. So what we are going to get, we are going to get guanine, 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 guanine and guanine here and then we are going to get cytosine, cytosine and adenine and adenine. So as I said this is a common mistake if you if your answer would be that we would need these two primers in order 
to amplify this fragment that here in the middle or we can see it also here uh, actually as you see our uh, amplicon or sequence that uh, we are going to get in final product would uh, include this primer our sequence that we are interested in plus another primer sequence also would be included but actually as you remember we only interested in amplifying this sequence only this sequence have to be found in our final product so these two primers would be wrong primers to use so uh, we don't use these two uh, flanking regions in order to amplify this segment and the correct set of uh, primers would be actually cytosine, cytosine, cytosine and cytosine that would anneal to this fragment and uh, so as you see this fragment would be excluded from our final product and the second uh, set of primers would be guanine, guanine, guanine and guanine. As you remember here we have 5 prime end so we would have 5 prime end for this guanine and uh, 3 prime end for this guanine. So uh, our strength would grow from here to here in this direction but uh, as you remember we wouldn't have this uh, fragment also it would be excluded because we don't use this primer and uh, also as you see uh, in this direction this primer would go here in the first PCR reaction but uh, in the second cycle uh, it only can go up to here and with another primer uh, our extension of the new strand of the DNA would start here and would end here so uh, actually we would uh, replicate only this fragment so our fragment would include two primers one primer would be so 5 prime and g g g g 3 prime and and another one would be 5 prime and c c c c 3 prime and once again when we list um, our primers those as you see uh, for this primer we have a uh, 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here we still listed as uh, 5 prime end on the left side and 3 prime end on the right side in other words if I would list this uh, primer as 5 prime end and C C C C and 3 prime end this would be the wrong way uh, to notate this primer so we never uh, write it like this and this is the correct two primers and this is how we uh, write them down and for example if you need to order two primers in order to replicate this fragment this is exactly how you write uh, sequence of these two primers when you order primers from the third company uh, that specialize in synthesizing primers and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye